Welcome back to The Person Everyone Needs. I'm your host, Webb Hoggard, and I want to take a second as we're in episode 11. We finished 10 of these so far. I just want to tell you that I believe you are the person someone needs, and I believe you can be the person everyone needs. Somebody in your sphere is looking towards you. So what we've been doing the last several weeks is we've been looking at different scriptures in the Word of God, the Bible, that say be part of your identity of who you're supposed to be, being a whole person. We began the first week talking about be fruitful and multiply. You're supposed to do great things. You're supposed to accomplish and reproduce yourself and have influence on others. I wanted you to be fruitful and multiply. That's fulfilling what God has called you to do. The second week we talked about be still and know. Sometimes you need to take a moment and just be still and recognize who God is. God is on the throne. God is in control. God has a plan for your life. Take a moment daily. Take a moment in silence and just remind yourself that He is God. We talked two weeks ago about be strong and courageous. This is one of my favorite, but it's time to do something. Grow, Get up, become a skilled person, find what you're good at, and then have the heart to finish it, to do great things all the way to the end. Last week was be kind and compassionate. Be kind and tenderhearted like God. That's how you imitate who God is. And so I encourage you to be kind. So this week I wanted to remind you be steadfast and movable. We want to talk about be steadfast and movable. Now, that's one of the weird words my sons don't always understand when I tell them to be steadfast. That's a word that isn't as regular in our vocabulary. But the word steadfast, it just means tenacious. It means perseverant, enduring, that they're going to be there all the way to the end. There's nothing going to make them shrink back, that they are going to be someone when they start something, they're going to finish it. They're going to be people of their integrity. The scripture that that verse comes from is 1 Corinthians 15, verses 57 and 58. 57 says, But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Verse 58 says, Therefore, my beloved brothers, be steadfast and movable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that in the Lord your labor is not in vain. If you will be steadfast, if you will be tenacious, if you will fight to the end, if you will keep giving it your all, God is saying that he's going to add his favor to your work. That's what needs to happen. A lot of people in our day today, people want to give up quickly. If they don't get what they want, if they don't get easy benefit from what they are working toward, they're ready to quit. There's something powerful about those people that get up every day and go do the thing that they've been called to do. They are strong, moving forward every single day. And In order to do that, you have to remind yourself that you're a man of favor. You're a woman of favor. You're a person who God has smiled upon. You're a person that God sees as worthy of his time, his interest, his attention, his son, his son's blood, his sacrifice. God loves you. You are a person of favor. Remember Jonathan in the story that we've been telling. Jonathan was the only Israelite outside of the king with a sword. That's the way you need to see yourself. Everybody else it seems to be fighting this life with their arm tied behind their back, but you you have a sword. You have the ability to move forward in your life and do great things because God loves you. He sees you. He's got great plans for you. When you lean in toward what he has for you, my goodness, why can't you be steadfast? Why couldn't you be immovable? Why couldn't you set your face, like some scripture says, set your face like a flint and move in the right direction every single day? Map out your life, see who you want to be one day, and then every day begin to do the hard work of bringing that to pass and being steadfast, constantly steady in the direction that you want to go. Don't be moved by anything in this world. 
The only thing you should ever be moved by is your faith in Jesus. Can he do it? You know he can, and compassion for others. Because those are the only two things that Jesus was moved by. He was moved by faith, and he was moved by compassion. So in this world, your belly, your flesh, this world, the demonic realm, they're going to do everything they can to distract you and discourage you. So I say to you, do not be distracted. Do not be discouraged. Be encouraged to go the direction that you have called for yourself and move that way. Trust in the Lord. Have faith. Believe what God says to you and go and do it. Believe who God says you are and go and be that person. Galatians tells us, do not be deceived, for God will not be mocked. Those who sow will reap. And if you sow to the flesh, you're going to reap to your flesh. But if you sow to the Spirit, you're going to reap from the Spirit. And we just heard right above those scriptures there in Galatians, we heard that it's from the Spirit. If you sow in the Spirit, you'll reap from the Spirit. It's from the Spirit that you receive love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control. My Lord, if there's anything that the person that everyone needs, needs to be, it's full of love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control. Get a coach in your life. Maybe you need somebody else to look at you who cares about you, who loves you. Maybe you need to not only hear what God says about you, but have someone else in your life that can look into who you are and do whatever they can to help you find those good things about you. I, my wife tells me all the time, she says, there's two ways to learn, mentors and broken bones. And all that just means is you can either be educated or you can experience how you learn things. And those are the two ways. Now, everybody wants to have experience, but experience is often busted lips and broken teeth. Uh, a lot of times, if you can find a friend, someone who's been there before you, you can learn a lot by listening, by living through the successes from their pain. My encouragement to you is, yes, so be who God called you to be, and then find a friend, a mentor, a coach, someone who has gone before you to help lead the way for what you need to do next. It's good to have those types of people. Don't submit yourself to everybody in the world. Don't submit yourself to just anybody. Find someone who's been where you want to be, and then Go where they're telling you to go. The third thing I would tell you, the first, listen to God. Secondly, get a mentor. The third thing I would tell you is vision. Envision who you want to be. If it's to get married one day, if it's to be a great man, if it's to be a great woman, if it's to be a person who is strong in their career, if it's to be a family person, uh, if it's to be a, somebody in the community, whatever that thing is, write it down. Write down who you want to be. Some people call it your mission statement, your vision, the picture of who it is that you're trying to become. I encourage you, write it down. State exactly what it is that you want to become. Maybe it's in, in personal traits. Maybe you've been uh, har harmed in your life and you want to be an honest person. You never want to be a liar. Write that down. Maybe you have uh, been abandoned and you want to be someone who never abandons those who are close to you and you just want to make sure that that's a part of your character. Write all that stuff down. Write your story down. And then from time to time and probably weekly, come back, look at that again and see, are you on the right track to going where? you want to go. That's how you become the person everyone needs is by working on it every single day, every single week, every single year. I'm becoming the person I want to become. I am steadfast and unmovable on the person that I want to be. And that's what's going to eventually help the most amount of people. The person that you want to be is most likely the person everyone needs because people need others to come to life. They need to see you alive. And so I ask you and I encourage you to go in the direction that you want to be. Don't let anyone else, don't let anyone else keep you from being the person that you eventually want to be. Create that, write it down, remind yourself regularly, this is my mission, this is why I'm here. And then every day you wake up, you begin to head in the direction that you want to be. Listen to who God says you are. Encourage a friend, a mentor, a coach to, to help you see the things you can't see yourself. And then every day, wake up and become the person you want to be long term. Jonathan did a powerful thing with David. He showed David how to strengthen his hand in the Lord. 
I hope that's what I'm doing. I'm hoping that's what your mentors in your life will do. It will strengthen your hand in the Lord. Take the time to remind yourself, this is who I am. This is who I want to become. And God is going to help me get there every day. If you're struggling in a certain area that you want to get better, I know without a doubt, if you'll cry out to Jesus, if you will pray, Jesus will help you. I believe it. And so I encourage you every single day, if there's something you're trying to get to, ask Jesus for help. Well, next week, we're going to turn the page a little bit. We're going to move away from these B verses, which I have enjoyed them so much. And I've loved teaching through these things. There are probably dozens of them in the Word of God. I've just gone through five here today. But I'm hoping they're a reminder to you of the person that you're supposed to be. Next week, we're going to talk about not being, but be getting better. We're going to move into becoming a person of destiny, not just understanding who we are, but understanding why we're here. And so I encourage you to tune in at our next episode as we discuss better becoming a person of destiny. Well, this is the person that everyone needs, and we look forward to talking to you next time. Have a great week.